Hey everybody, today's video brings us out to Collegeville, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Collegeville, Pennsylvania is because we're here at your sinus college. This is their new bookstore, new bookstore, new cafe. Pretty awesome looking actually inside here. It's really, really nice inside here. I should probably go in and get some breakfast actually. I haven't, it's very early in the morning if you can't tell by my voice. I actually have not eaten yet today. I'm I'm quite uh, quite hungry, quite parched. Could definitely go for for some breakfast. Look at the cool book sign. Look at the cool bear. That's their mascot there. The Usinus, Usinus bears, if I'm not mistaken. I, I guess it's the bears. Look at this. That's awesome. That is really, really cool looking. Definitely like that kind of stuff. Sculptures are pretty awesome. But the reason why I came out here wasn't necessarily to see the, the sculptures, although the sculptures here are amazing. We're actually going to go take a look at some of them because I'm here. Why not? But the reason why I came out here this morning was actually to get a pin. I, um, I collect pin. Well, I mean, you might be thinking I collect pins, but I actually collect pins from everywhere I've, I've visited. I've actually been here to your sinus college multiple times, and I never got a pin for your sinus college. I just never, for whatever reason, never picked one up. In fact, I think it's because I didn't know where the bookstore was. This is a new. Again, this is a brand. <clears throat> this is a brand new bookstore that's actually just opened up. Where the bookstore was located before this, I have no idea. Could not tell you where that bookstore was on this campus. So that's kind of the reason why I never actually went to the bookstore to look for a pin because I, I didn't know where the bookstore was. But now that I knew the bookstore was right here, right off the right off the main road through town, I figured I'm gonna pull over and uh, visit the bookstore and try to find a pin. Unfortunately, they told me they don't have pins. They don't, they don't sell your side as pins. They, they were gawking over my pins, said, oh my gosh, your pins are cool. They were checking them out, asking me where some of them were from and what some of them meant and whatnot but they don't actually have pins themselves, which is kind of a bummer. So unfortunately, I did not get myself a Ursinus College pin. Kind of bummed about that. Really wanted one for my, my pin collection from all the different places I have visited. Down in my, my library, my collection, I have a big movie collection, and I also have a pin board down there. On that pin board, I put pins from everywhere I've, I've been, but unfortunately, no pin for Ursinus College, which I have been to, clearly. But, um, oh well, it is what it is. Look at all these amazing, sculptures they have out here. This is one of the coolest things about this campus is the ridiculous amount of sculptures. If you're into if you're into sculptures, this is the college to come out to and check out. I mean, if you, if you just love art, get out here. Check this out because there are so many cool and amazing sculptures out here. Look at this one. You clearly can tell many people have sat in the lap of this one here probably to have their, their photo taken. This is Seated Couple by Lynn Chadwick in 1962. Pretty awesome. Again, tons of amazing sculptures out here. I could probably just spend the whole entire day just out here walking around, looking at all the different sculptures. Look at the chairs. Those are not sculptures. Those are just, at least I don't think, these are just chairs to enjoy on a nice day. It's actually kind of nice out today. It's not, it's not too cold. I mean, can you see my, oh, you can see my breath. Honestly though, it's not all that terrible out today. It's a little cold but it's been, it's been much colder. It's been so cold out the last couple of weeks that honestly, like the 40 degree, what, 40, de 40 degree weather we're having right now actually feels pretty good. <clears throat> My voice has still not come in quite yet, unfortunately. It is still very early in the morning for me. Literally woke up, dropped myself off at school, and then drove right out here. Here's a, uh, what's this, a sundial? Erected by the class of 1911. That's pretty awesome. Looks like somebody broke it though, unfortunately, but still pretty cool. Look at this big building here. Look at that. This college has obviously been around for quite a while. It is a really beautiful college, a really beautiful campus. I've known people who've gone to college here. I didn't go to college here. I went to, a, I went to an art school. <laughs> I didn't go to a, a fancy pants school like this. My school was actually located in an old elementary school. It was a, it was an art school. It was a it was a photography school. It was one of the best photography schools in the country. There were two top photography schools in the country. One was Antonelli Institute, which is where I went to college. And the other one, I can't remember, was out in um, California. Unfortunately, my college no longer exists. They had to close up due to the fact that um, the town they were in, they were, they were like renting or leasing the building, the old elementary school. They were leasing it from the town. And when the lease was up, the town went, no, 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 we're not, we're not gonna renew your lease. We want, we want the building back because we want to build a new something they built there. So they tore that building down, built something else there. And my college couldn't find a place to move because um, 
It's a photography school. They need, they need to use chemicals and all kinds of flammable chemicals for developing and things like that. And they couldn't actually find a location that was okay with them using all these potentially flammable chemicals and whatnot. And they, they had to scramble to find a place because apparently this happened like out of nowhere, out of nowhere that the, the city or the town was like, no, we want our building back. So they were stuck kind of in a hard place trying to find somewhere to move and they couldn't find somewhere to move. And they eventually just went, well, I guess that's it for the school. So kind of a bummer because it was a, it was a big school. Kind of weird. They just folded up like that. But unfortunately, like I said, my college no longer exists. We cannot go back and visit my college. Maybe someday we'll just go back to the, the grounds. I'll see if anything's still even remotely there. But last time I drove past, they had torn down the entire building. Definitely a shame. I, I miss my old college. Wish we could go back and revisit. But this one here is beautiful. I always kind of regretted not going to a actual like big college like this so I can enjoy the, the campus life, if you will. I commuted to my college. There were there were never dorms at my college. It was, um, there were, there were offsite, um, apartments you could rent through the college. The college basically rented these apartments from this apartment complex. And then you rent into the apartments, I believe through the college. It was kind of, it was a weird, a weird setup, but I did not live at college. I, I commuted. It was like a 45 minute drive. It wasn't that, wasn't that bad. Look at this amazing sculpture here. Look at this thing. You can actually go inside this. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I've seen this from the road so many times. I've just never bothered to actually take a look at this. That is awesome. What is the name of this one here? This is the temple. Look at that. Temple by Mary Ann Unger, 1986. This looks very 1986. I love it. That is awesome. Like I said, tons of amazing sculptures out here. One of the love sculptures is out here. Actually, I, um, I did a video on that over the summer, went to the love sculpture that's here on campus, one of the, the many, I should, well, not many, but one of the few love sculptures that actually do exist all throughout the world. One of them is actually here at your sinus college. One's down in Philadelphia, obviously, and they have one here, which is pretty awesome. But all right, guys, unfortunately, I did not get my pin this morning. What are you guys doing this morning? How was your morning? Did you get what you wanted to get this morning? Did you go somewhere to pick something up and actually find it? I'm really bummed they don't have pins here. It's actually kind of surprising how many places don't have pins. I guess maybe pin collecting just isn't as popular as I had expected it to be when I started collecting pins. This is Disc by Paul Cisco Steel, 1993. That is definitely a disc. That is what that is. That is, that is absolutely 100% a disc. I mean, it's a cut up bent disc, but it is a, a disc here at your sinus college. We're gonna take a look at one more sculpture then we'll turn around because even though it's pretty nice out it actually is getting a little cold out now now that i've actually been out in the in the weather for a little bit my hands are starting to get a little cold my appendages are starting to uh to freeze up so we actually should probably head back to the car but look at this last sculpture we're gonna take a look at look at this thing i don't know what this is supposed to be it looks like train wheels which is pretty awesome that is cool this is sculpture number four Greek by Peter Hyde, 1993, painted steel. I believe if I'm not mistaken, these are, these are train wheels, which is really awesome. You guys know how much I love trains. So that's pretty cool, but all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Like I said, came out here today for the sake of picking up the Your Sinus College pin. I did not get it, but at least I got to see some of the cool sculptures out here. Got to show you guys some of the cool sculptures out here. Why am I, why am I still walking through the grass? I don't, I don't know, the grass is very dewy and very wet. And there is literally a path here I should probably be walking on. But again, look at this college. It is beautiful. This campus is amazing. I love coming out here and visiting the campus and just walking around. It's a beautiful place just to, to walk and enjoy the art. It's pretty awesome. Like I guess I kind of regret not going to a real traditional college like this to enjoy the college life. What kind of college did you go to? Did you go to college? Did you not go to college? If you did, did you go to a, a smaller college like I went to, uh, a trade college, an art school? Did you go to a, a big campus like this? Maybe you went to like Penn State or Notre Dame or, or something like that. You went to a big, huge school. Did you do something like that or something small, maybe a community college? Leave a comment down below. Ooh, 
I'm getting cold now. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let me know where you went to college and what your college experience was like. But all right, I'm gonna head back to the car. I'm gonna go get myself warmed up and I'm gonna go be depressed that I did not, that I did not get myself a Your Sign Is College pin. Your Sign Is, if you're watching this video, pins, enamel pins. You gotta get them made with your little logo on it. I mean, look, they have this really cool Your Sign Is You logo. That's all I want. A little logo like that on a pin. Preferably one maybe that says Your Sign Is College. That'd be great. But at least just a, why not just a Your Sign Is College You pin. That'd be pretty awesome, but all right. I'm freezing. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t shirts. It's a cool, look at that. There's another sculpture over there. I can't even catch my breath right now. The, the coldness is like, it's going into my lungs. And I'm like, the weather, the air is too cold. Look at that airplane. That's making a crazy sound. You guys hear that? Sounds like a bomb dropping. Anyway. Okay, yeah. I, I was here earlier, like in the video telling you it's not that cold out. And now that I've been out here, the cold air is getting into my lungs. It's getting into my, my hands. I'm officially freezing now. So, all right, like I said, check down below for all the different links. Patreon, Spreadshirt. If you guys do help participate with Patreon and Spreadshirt, I will send you postcards every single month if you're a patron and you can get yourself a t cool t-shirt if you go to Spreadshirt and proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to get help putting gas in Vanabelle and in Pumpkin so we can come out to interesting places like this. Like you said, it's college where I cannot pick up, where I cannot pick up a pin, but we can look at amazing sculptures. There's that really cool Your Sign Is You sculpture over there. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys. So again, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you guys do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.